Hey, for a while I've wanted to unlock the potential of spray foam. It was on sale when I was shopping and I thought now is as good a time as any. I covered all the cracks in Leo with a, a Tamiya tape and then I filled the container containing Leo with spray foam. Then I finally read the instructions and it takes eight hours to dry so I put it on its side so it would fill in behind him and then dried on the outside. This I left it overnight but the inside, because there was no air, did not dry. So now I fill all that in with foam that's going to hopefully expand and fill in all the holes and gaps. But I don't think that's going to work, or I don't know if it's going to work. So this is foam clay. I have a raft figure that I wrapped in saran wrap, cellophane saran wrap, and uh, then covered him in the clay foam to try and make a mold that way. But I don't know if that's going to work, so I try something else too. A backup plan, I guess. I'm just going to make a figure straight out of spray foam. And I just do the head, uh, the body, the shell. I made out of, I made like a curved shape out of uh, aluminum foil. And then it's the next day, so it grew and um, hardened. I'm going to try this, so I just cut around it. I had a straw, that's where I'm going to potentially put the nozzle of the spray foam but it didn't come off as nice as I'd like and it wasn't fully dry inside so I leave that for now and I start using a knife to try and carve down the um, figure that I made out of spray foam. Now it's another day later I hope this is dry so I open it up I take them out it's not fully dry yet on the inside there so I have to leave that another day. I decide to cut off the hands and feet so that I can carve them a little more and have more space to do so. I drew some fingers and thumb and then carve out a bit. Now I'm carving out the elbow pads and I use a smaller knife to get more details and uh, the knee pads and I think I mix up one leg and one arm so it got weird but I spent a long time shaving that stuff and uh, what I come up with it's something now I'm gonna see if I can get them out I cut a bunch of places I could break it and this is what I got eventually I'm gonna try and take them out because I would like to get the figure back but now I put a bunch of baby powder in the clay foam mold that I made and uh, filling that with spray foam I taped it all up and my original idea when I was thinking of spray foam was to fill in like an insert like this for um, from a figure. This is from the Best Action uh, Krang XL. Then I went back and sprayed some more into the spray uh, clay foam mold and uh, gonna regret that because it's gonna expand but because it's black I can't see how much I put in there. Now to try and bring out some more detail or just to refine it a little bit I'm using a needle file and just trying to get off. It was very messy and itchy and I put some toothpicks to uh, connect the limbs and and I glue the shell on the back so he looks a little goofy but I might as well paint him and that's uh, leaf green I'm just doing the skin with and just um so now next day I think this is dry I try to peel it off the front came off but the back it wasn't fully dry the clay foam so it's still not even fully dry and it didn't come off as much and it ballooned up huge so it, I wish I didn't put that extra foam in and um, I peeled up the back of the Krang droid and let that dry more overnight then I finally pull it out and this is what it came out as no that's what it looks like but if I had more time, it's I've, I learned a lot while I was doing this. Now I have some extra foam. I just cut out eyes for the uh, Leonardo that I'm making and glue the eyes down. But yeah, I learned a lot. If I had more time, but because it kept taking overnight to cure before I could do anything else or before I could know what I should have done, I didn't have enough time to do anything good. But I came up with something um, to work something bigger, like that Krang droid will be easier. It can use that as the base and then put like some epoxy sculpt and build up on them one day and that's just some two millimeter uh, craft foam I used to make the belt and uh, they don't look great but it was in experimentation I was hoping I could get something cool but one day I'll try spray foam again and I'll actually make something cool out of it I promise well I promise that if I do try it again I'll make something cool I might not I might forget about it but anyway thanks for watching until next time remember Always keep your head up. Peace.